Might never happen again. <laughs> Matt, you know, Demetrius is, is also very humble, and he says he's just a hard worker, and that's it. I mean, with what he's accomplished, is it simple enough to say he's just a hard worker, and that's what makes him so good? No, no, no. No, I mean, it, I've always said it takes to to be a champion takes everything. You know, you have to have the mentality, um, you have to have the work ethic, you have to have the athleticism, you have to have the technique, you have to have all the intangibles that go along with it. And then to be the greatest champion in history of the sport, you have to magnify that. So it would be an understatement to say it's just hard work. He credits you for so much success. I mean, are you able to step back and, and feel like, yes, I am a huge part of that? After this next fight, sure. Can you help contextualize what the streak would mean? I mean, he's, he's openly said, I mean, it's something he wants. He wants to have this record. I mean, obviously you've been a part of the sport for so long. Can you contextualize what that record would mean? Well, yeah, I mean, two, two parts to that. You know, we, we've been planning this since the beginning, but when he first came in and won the title or before the title, it would have been very arrogant to say, this is where we're gonna be at. So we've always kept that to ourselves, but it, all along this has been our plan to be in this position. Um, and now that we're in it, um, we're going to stay humble, we're going to get this, but then we'll step back because really this is the greatest thing in the history of mixed martial arts. And so we're not going to look at it until we're done, but that's going to be our viewpoint uh, after the fight on Saturday night. You guys are prepared night. for the absolute best flyweights in the world. Ray Ward, is there anything that he does that's unique that you haven't seen in these other 10 guys, something special that you have to be concerned with? He's, he's fast. Um, and he throws everything when he, you know, when he throws his punches, he throws everything into him. Um, he's a good grappler. Um, he's good at taking the back. I've seen him out grapple some, some good black belts. Um, so he mixes it up very well. Um, and athletically, he's, he's very talented. Um, so we're not taking him lightly at all. He said he actually thinks he's better in scrambles than Demetrius. Do you, uh, do you agree that's a, a, maybe a trouble point? Um, I didn't, well, <laughs> no, he's not better in scrambles than Demetrius. I'll just put it that way. He can, he can be wrong on that one. He's, he's, he's a great fighter, he's got a lot of attributes, but none of them are better than Demetrius. Fans and media, I feel like we always have this sort of conversation, because fans of all time, and DJs always throw in there now, the street. I wonder though, considering what's happened to guys like Anderson and John Jones, if you have a PED failure in your history, should that disqualify you from that conversation considering DJs like spotless here? Yes. Yeah. So that very bluntly, is that Yes, of course, because if you, if you have a PED failure, then the things that you've done before were on PEDs. If you're gonna if you're gonna count that, you you don't know you don't know when he was and when he wasn't um, with anyone. Because I'm not just singling out John Jones, but I'm singling out anyone who's taken drugs to accomplish their goals. Uh, are we just gonna then open it up and say let's see what Demetrius Johnson would do with PEDs in his system? You know, because then we can compare him to those guys. But he's done more than any of the guys, and he's beaten guys who are on PEDs in title fights. Um, who, who tested positive later, and he's done all that without taking anything, and, uh, and he never will. I mean, he doesn't even do supplements. So, um, so yes, if, if people are taking if people are taking things that they shouldn't be taking to help their performances, um, then it doesn't count against the guys like Demetrius Johnson, who do it clean. I think he actually enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he enjoyed said, not training with you? Yeah, well, he enjoyed No, actually, I mean, he looks at the positive side of everything. And he said, that was the first time, that was the first time where he got to just work with Brad and have me stand over the top and watch and, and you know, criticize and, and point things out and whatever, make him do things perfect. Whereas when I'm grappling with him, I'm, I'm just working and I don't do that as much. Um, so, you know, so there was a good side to that too. It's getting better. So were yeah. you with him or did you step back? Uh, we we kind of kept the same process through the last month, but um, in the last week or so, I've been jumping in with him and here, while I'm here, I'm, I'm doing that as well. DJ said that it's his goal to beat you. Yes. <laughs> Will that day ever come? I, I'm, I, I hope that day comes, but I hope it doesn't come for a while longer. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys.